Chapter 5 is probably the one that's in many ways closest to the 48 Laws of Power. It's called Know When to Be Bad. It's based on an idea that I had um, in the 48 Laws, which is that we're descended from primates, and we're creatures that have every one of us, men and women and children, we have aggressive impulses. We are an aggressive animal. Look at our history. Look at all the bloodshed in our past. And this isn't changed because of a hundred years. We're now living in a world that's much more democratic and fair and everybody's nicer. That deep, deep well of aggression that is in the animal is in every single person. And that aggression, that energy, has to be channeled in some way. Some people are very overtly aggressive in life and we recognize them in our offices, in politics or whatever. They use that aggressive energy in very obvious ways. Other people are more passive aggressive and they channel that energy in ways that are much more slippery and indirect. Uh, you're not really aware of the fact that they are aggressive at all because they have ways of making you feel guilty or bad for something that you did. It is just simply a different form of aggression and everybody in the world wants power. They want to feel they have control over their lives and they channel that energy and that aggressiveness in one way or another. They can channel it into something creative. They can channel it into something positive for humanity, but it's still that deep well of aggression. And the first chapter was all being about realist, re, a realist in life. This is about being realistic about the fact that there are people around you who are very aggressive. And, and what I'm talking about here is the level of fear that most people have about handling confrontation in life. Um, I had a friend that I was just visiting recently in Norway who was telling me a story that he was going through with somebody there. They had an agreement on a business um, that they would operate in a certain way and not once but twice, three times he violated this agreement in very blatant fashion. And to, to finally put a stop to this person doing this thing that was very much against what they had set up in their business, he had to confront him and, and find a way to stop it. And, and the tendency when you're faced with a situation like that is you're afraid of it. You're afraid, first of all, of realizing this is what's going on. Sometimes you realize it too late that you're dealing with someone like that. And then you're afraid of actually having to confront them in a way that will solve the problem. And so this book is all about how you have to realize that you are essentially trying to please too many people in your life. Your first instinct is to get people to like you to placate them, to find some way to avoid a confrontation. And there are moments in life when you can't avoid it. You're face to face with someone who's aggressive, who's psychotic, who's sociopathic. Whatever it is, they're not a good person. They are in your life, they are in your office, they are ruining you, and you have to confront them. And the best way to confront them is not with your emotions, not with anger, because that is also another form of fear. You're not controlling yourself. You have to be able to confront them in a way that's strategic and you're going to stop their bad behavior in one way or another. But the first step is to first be realistic and understand that there are people in this world who are against you, who are antagonists, who are rivals, who are competitors. And when push comes to shove, you have to confront them and you have to deal with them. And I think of something really interesting that I read about a Jean Piaget, the great child psychologist. And I can't remember when it was from the 50s, I believe. And he had studied children in depth, very, very, very young children. And he found that children who could not handle conflict were the ones that ended up be, having the most mental problems later on in adulthood. And most often that he saw that it came from the parents who tried to shield the children from these unpleasant moments and make everything so nice and sweet for the little baby. But children who had a capacity for dealing with conflict with other children learned a life skill and learned not to get emotional and learned that it was part of life and they were much better off. Um, so I think this is 
At first it's counterintuitive, you don't want to be aggressive, you don't want to be bad, but actually it is a life skill knowing how to deal with those people who cross your, who inevitably will cross your path, who are not good and who need to be stopped.